Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamoy season 3 episode number 9. Okay, uh, the previous episode was a Shinsengumi episode and that was kind of like the first episode in this season which like fully uh, concentrated on Shinsengumi. And uh, it was a pretty good episode and it like involved the whole like uh, becoming old and that thing so it was really uh kind of like uh interesting to see and uh like obviously shinsengumi episodes are like one of the greatest uh like are one of the greatest episodes like usually they are like that and uh so yeah that was a really good episode and at the end we got to see um like <clears throat> uh Yurank and all of them like trying to uh like they're planning to break uh sofia out and like make some commotion so let's see uh, if they like break uh, sophia out in this episode or like in the future episodes let's see what this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number nine of golden kamui season three okay i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Ako Okay, well, we're seeing Kiraranke here No cards <clears throat> oh <laughs> wow she's like she doesn't have a teeth and like she's using the <laughs> cigarette through that like hole <laughs> that's kind of cool <clears throat> Um, I'm not sure if they will like find Ashripa in this season like and they're like all <coughs> like going like 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 uh, Kyoranke's team is like advancing and the same time uh, Sugimoto's team is also advancing but they're like uh, like having a like distance between them so <coughs> I'm not sure whether they will find uh, Ashripa in this season or they were like going to like uh, like find Aship in the next season if they make. I'm I'm sure they'll make another season. Like this is um I think one of the most popular um series in like Japan. So yeah. And the manga is ongoing, so definitely they'll make another season. <clears throat> I think it's ongoing, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Revolutionary. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Oh, what are they doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Why is he so like happy? Wow. Oh. <laughs> so Tsukishima is like thinking like, yeah, maybe I should do that. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh. Wait a minute. So, uh, in the previous episode, like, Kyoranka said that we are going to like, wait for someone. Were they really waiting for Sugimoto's team to catch up? Oh. 
Oh. Okay, that's um Hmm. Oh, okay, so they're like using that as an advantage. Yeah. Yeah, they Oh my god, I don't... <clears throat> okay. Okay, so, but still, like, you shouldn't have, like, shot Sugimoto like that. Uh, I'm talking about Ogata. Ooh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, they have like... Wow! The, like the disguise! Damn! Okay. Oh. Huh? first talk. Oh, I thought that was a siren. <laughs> that was, oh, that was radar, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that radar or some some? Uh, other rules. Hasegawa photographs. Japanese is. Oh, he's a Japanese. Oh, this is the past, isn't it? Okay, so this is what happened. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that was not written then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, he's pretty good. Wilk is pretty good. Not interested.
Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so Sophia was Okay. Priorities. Oh, is that so? Oh. Yeah, like they have wanted posters, so... Oh no. Surfs. Armor. Oh. Okay, so like by killing they like prove the point. Okay, so Like they're like comparing them to these. Oh my god. It's is it like trying to hand them over? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so he's helping them. I thought he was most probably like going to hand them over. What? Oh my god. Uh. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, Sophia doesn't have any wanted posters, so. Damn, Wilk is all like calm and everything, like his eyes, like, like his eyes are like fierce at the, and it's calm at the same time. Wait, what? Oh my god, what the? Okay, damn, like... Okay, I was not expecting that at all, like what? He suddenly twisted it all around. Damn! Maxim gun! Oh! <laughs> oh boy! Well, better run home! Oh no! Yeah, but there's a lot of noise you're making, so... But it's in the middle of the forest, I think, so... Still, the gunshot is quite loud. What of the woman? Like, what happened to her? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no! Oh, okay, I thought it was a lady. Oh, thank God. This was what I was... Oh no, the boy also died? Oh no... Oh. Oh boy.
So if I want go or something. I don't think so. Or did he? Yeah, he did. What? Oh yeah, this must be some kind of uh, alias. Ooh. What? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? What is happening? Just a sec. Let me just process that. Um. Okay. This guy is that to me, isn't it? Like, I don't know his um, like. Uh, the other name like the second name like his title like his we only know his name is surumi like people call him uh, surumi taicho something like that uh, lieutenant surumi something like that i can't remember but like i've not heard his like the other name so he's the same surumi isn't it yeah so wait a minute so Surumi was here in Russia, like he was a spy for the Japanese. He lived here, uh, like in Russia, and uh, like had a wife and a kid. Okay. Wow, this episode was something like Damn this episode Okay, I was not expecting that like two times it surprised me like, like the first time was when like they were uh, looking for Hasegawa not them That that was like the first surprise that came and then like at the end when I thought like everything was over, suddenly he like said my name is Surumi and so so he has some kind of grudge on the Russians I'm guessing because of that. No, not on the Russians. Uh, yeah, okay, just a sec. Like uh, let's think about a situation. Um, like Surumi like asked uh, his like wife and kid to run away, 
and uh, like decided to like um, stand off like fight against the Russians uh, himself alone and if like the like uh, Wilk and all of the others would help him so like they helped him to like fend off the Russians and um, now we don't know whose bullet like uh, killed uh, the baby and the lady and um, so like here are many like perspectives here like uh, Surumi can take this a lot of ways the most uh, like the way that I think uh, he took this whole thing uh, which is uh, I think most probable outcome is that he had like started having a grudge against the Russians like this is the most probable outcome uh, after that because obviously did the the whole fault was lying with the russians because like they came in and dragged that lady into their fight like the fight was between him and the russians because he was a spy but uh, like uh, because uh, like the, the lady got dragged into their fight and uh, so technically it is the russians fault uh, that is the most probable outcome, but he can also take his take this whole thing in another way, which is like it is the fault of um, Wilk, uh, Sophia, and um, uh, Kiroranke. He can also take it that way, but I doubt. But I doubt he did not take. I, I doubt he took it that way because obviously, like uh, if he really held a grudge against them. No, I don't think he would do something like that because obviously uh, Surumi is an uh, intelligent guy. He is not someone who like, uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, blames uh, like someone like that. Like he knew what he was getting into. Uh, uh, so like, yeah, so I think like he mostly blames himself and the Russians for the whole thing. Like even though like uh, the bullet can be from like Sophia's gun, I doubt uh, he blames her. Because obviously, like, and the reason behind the whole thing was uh, his negligence. I can kind of like say it that way because obviously he should have like told uh, his wife to run away from there like a long time ago. So like, I think he uh, like thinks it like the whole situation as if it is because of his own negligence and uh, his um, like uh, and the Russians fault. So oh, yeah, I think that is the most probable uh, way this went. So okay, so like I did, did not even like recognize him. Like Hasegawa and Surumi, they look worlds apart. Like n nothing, like uh, like it's he's unrecognizable. Like now the Surumi now and like the Surumi when he was like fighting the war, he had like like the Surumi fighting the war was pretty good, <laughs> good looking I have to say like he had an amazing like what can I say appearance like his mustache and his hair like damn that is some <laughs> like that is some uh, I don't know like that's a good face and <laughs> like he uh, like he looks worlds apart so like obviously no one would be able to recognize him like that like at least like the people who are like seeing golden kamui uh, now and like seeing his past self like he looks nothing like that so okay so like this was surprising in a lot of uh, way like uh, damn like the way this uh, whole uh, episode went like at the beginning we thought like maybe this was like a whole uh, like episode on um, Sophia and uh, like Kiroranke and uh, Wilk and uh, like they were showing their like perspective the past and uh, like as like Kiroranke was narrating the story to like Ashripa and his and her team so <clears throat> like that was the first thing that came into my mind like this must be some kind of like a backstory and the whole um, situation like Kiroranke is narrat narrating to them and then like Hasegawa uh, seemed like uh, I don't know like uh, a kind of guy who would probably like uh, like call in the police if he like finds out that yeah these guys are wanted men so uh, that's the thing I did I thought at the beginning like when like the police were coming uh, he said uh, I thought maybe like he had like asked the police to come and told Sophia to like run away from here because obviously like they will be like all messed up things that are going to happen here now so he like asked Sophia to run away and called the police. I thought that was what he did. But then I saw him like defending uh, them, like uh, Kiroranke and Wilk. Then I thought like, why is he like defending them then? Like, 
why is he like uh, i thought like I, I thought like why is he like doing stuff like this uh, so like he had the amount of perception to know that yeah things are probably going to get messy here so he like asked his wife to run away so i was really confused at that time like i was thinking like why is he like defending them so like then like uh will comes out and like beats them up and like that moment was so damn good like <laughs> Like he said that uh, like who the hell are you guys? I'm looking for this Japanese person <laughs> Damn that was like a real good uh, way they did this episode and um, Okay, and one thing I've seen like Wilkes I don't know like like uh, Like when people kill another people like when a person kills another person there is always uh, I don't know like some kind of emotion in their eyes uh, be it excitement like uh, if a person is like a psychopathic type of guy he has excitement in his eyes when he like, kills a person if he is like a coward type of a person who does not like killing people he would have kind of a sad expression or a fearful expression no he would have a fearful expression by killing when killing another person in his eyes if he is more of a sympathetic type of person who does not want to kill but is forced to kill he has a sad expression in his eye but Wilk damn like when he kills a person his eyes shows nothing like nothing it's a blank like his eyes is it's as if he's looking at a far away place and just killing like that like that is scary like the way uh, they showed wilk in this episode like uh, like he killed like he just killed like that like bam he killed him and when his, his eyes were like nothing it was as if like he was not even registering the person who is who he is like going to kill I don't know if this is something that uh, is completely wrong uh, I mean like uh, which I am like misinterpreting uh, misinterpreting yeah misinterpreting yeah uh, and and it's something that uh, it's just me but like I don't know like I think like he is uh, like he is a guy who has a lot of things like he he obviously we saw him and Ashipa like having fun and everything but this is a time before that so I don't know like who knows like what his past is and what he is actually like uh yeah like I was really surprised at like the way he killed the other person like even Kiroranke has like uh really uh, uh like his eyes shows emotions when he's like killing people but Wilk was just like blanks, blankly staring at that guy before killing him. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, or it maybe it, it must maybe his just his eyes, like his eyes color is like deep blue. So like maybe because of that, like it shows, it looks as if like he is has no emotions while killing the other person. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was um, damn. This episode was good. This was a good episode, and um, Sophia and the thing with Sophia, like uh, she took it really hard, like the baby's death, because obviously we saw her really, uh, uh, like I don't know, like she was really happy when uh, like uh, cradling the baby and all. So yeah, obviously killing like thinking like uh, it might be that his her bullet like killed her uh, and both the mother and the child so that's uh, like a bigger pressure on her so like he's she's thinking as if like yeah maybe it was my bullet maybe i killed them of so this yeah so one thing like so obviously like sophia loved uh, wilk and like this incident kind of like scared her for like more loss so yeah what did he actually actually say just a sec let me check that portion out again uh, like she said that i can't go because wilk i love you uh then uh what did she say i can't get the baby i killed out of my head i don't need a woman's happiness i'll fight here as a revolutionary okay wait a minute so she says that i don't need a woman's happiness so why was she going to japan in the first place like we know uh, what uh, like uh wilk and kiranke were trying to do but why was she going like 
okay so yeah so what was her like real uh motive at the beginning like here she says that yeah i'll like fight as a revolutionary but uh, okay most probably we'll like get to know that uh, later on like we know that she uh was like fighting for the revolutionaries and like uh wilk and uh, kiro ranke joined hands with her because obviously uh, the whole situation in russia and uh, like that the thing that she explained before like they they were like the, thought of as gods and all so like they tried to, like they assassinated uh, the like alexander i think three or what was that i can't remember uh, uh so they assassin assassinated him so that to make the others um like think that yeah like make the others realize that these are no gods like people can, can like they can be killed so that's why like they have wanted posters all over so i know like they did that for that reason but uh, yeah but uh anyways uh we'll probably get to know more about sophia this is barely the second or third episode we saw sophia so yeah in the future episode i'm sure like it will get uh, resolved like uh the confusions in my mind <clears throat> okay so yeah that was that and surumi tokushiro so his uh like uh surname like his uh surname yeah this title is tokushiro okay and yeah like looking at his his eyes kind of look like surumi that kind of like little okay so yeah that's this was some twist like damn okay so yeah what i was talking about like i was talking about sophia so yeah uh, so we saw like sophia has this kind of uh, kind uh, like soft heart and obviously like uh, after seeing the death of the little kid she like uh, i don't know so like i'm thinking like she loved wilk and obviously now like when they're most probably like going to break her out she's going to meet with uh, ashripa so I think like she's probably going to like really like Ashripa and really love her because obviously she is Wilk's kid and we saw her like uh, like like interacting with that little kid uh, through his son son or daughter uh, what is it, a male or a female what's the baby I check that out anyways uh, so she, we saw her, her like interacting with that child and she was so happy and everything and so i'm sure like if she meets with uh, ashipa and like gets to know that yeah this is uh, wilk's daughter then most probably like really uh, like her really like adore her i think that's how it's going anyways um yeah like uh, okay what else was in this episode Oh, oh! At the beginning, we also saw like uh, them like making some kind of preparations. I, I think most probably to break um, Sophia out of the prison. Like Shiranke was with like uh, a, kind of a, like a disguise, half disguise, and like he was transporting stuff. And uh, yeah, and Sugimoto's team is also uh, catching up with them. Like they are, I think they're in Russia, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, okay, so yeah, so like, like, what was like the whole thing with Surumi then? So he was like, we uh, don't know anything about Surumi. Like we have heard Ogata's backstory, we have heard Kirotanke's backstory, bits and pieces of Wilk's backstory, and uh, like a little bit of um like the shinsengumi like uh, hijikata's backstory a little bit of them and all of them uh, we know sugimoto's backstory not fully but partially ashipa obviously we know like she like her backstory she's a kid so she definitely has no backstory <laughs> like a little bits and pieces of like when she interacted with her father and um yeah like uh Surumi is the only one who we don't know anything about. Like a little bit of we got to know about the whole when he fought with um, uh, <coughs> Sukishima uh, that time and all of the time like when he interacted with Sugimoto and all during the war. So we know that. Other than that we knew nothing about it. So this is a big thing. Like so what was he actually doing then? Like he was a spy in like 
uh, for like the Japan Japan and he was staying uh, like he was like stationed in uh, Russia so after like uh, everything like went down like that so he has a grudge mostly on the Russians I'm guessing I'm not sure so yeah after that he was that the reason why he like signed up for the war like uh, to yeah like obviously like he has nothing like uh, he probably like wanted to like go all out he, like uh, i don't know like i'm just guessing everything no need like no need for me to like guess everything was will probably like answer it answer all of these questions in a few episodes so, yeah mm, okay so yeah that was this episode this was one of the like uh really good episodes like uh i really uh loved the twist that they like uh, played in this episode and that was really surprising it really surprised me <laughs> well not one time but two times so yeah that was like a good job so yeah um, this was uh, episode number nine of golden kamui uh, season three so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so comment down below anything you want to say about the anime anything you want to say about the episode comment down below i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with a new golden kamui episode uh next week same time this is all, all already the episode number nine and i think there are like two or three more episodes left oh so, yeah like i'll miss this episode like this anime when it like <laughs> ends when this season ends and i hope like they bring uh, the anime back for a fourth season i really hope uh, yeah so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video uh, so until then goodbye and have a nice day